Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, The Truth Hurts. Today I'm going to be discussing red flag number 247. Trust in people with your recovery. Ignorant. Lack of knowledge, information, and awareness on something in particular. When people are ignorant, you can only trust them so far with pertinent information. With a narcissist, you learn your most sensitive information can be utilized against you. Never tell your problems to everyone. 20% don't care and the other 80% are glad you have them. Since you can't trust everyone which you're hurt, you will seek out a professional to talk to. Now these professionals, therapists, the ones with certifications and license, can be more dangerous than the narcissist themselves because they immediately obtain your trust by being pre-approved. Love Doctor's definition of narcissist. Someone that lacks empathy and remorse, thus they can do anything to you and not feel bad about it. I've done my own painstaking research with these so-called therapists. Please watch Red Flag number 167B, the 2018 Narcissistic Convention, and read the comments. The second individual I'm discussing is another well-known therapist whom I wouldn't recommend because of trust issues. These days, you have to be very careful selecting a therapist because many of them can't be trusted. Remember Bugs Bunny? He went to see a therapist. The therapist drugged Bugs and had him thinking he was Elmer Fudd. I am Elmer J. Fudd. Millionaire, I own a mansion and a yacht. Bugs had a feeling the therapist was a screwball, but gave him a chance. Don't let these screwballs screw you over. Many of them don't know what they're doing, and if they know what they're doing, they're only doing it for the money. There's one therapist selling CDs for $160. Even Beyonce don't sell her new releases at that insane price. I'm certain you'll enjoy her CD way more than a born therapist saying The call dependency is dependent on the independent. One therapist I'm discussing tried to hold a convention in New York City but was unsuccessful. He mentioned he couldn't get black people to follow him. When we first spoke, I was trying to get the YouTube coaches together. That fell apart. YouTube coaches are like politicians in Congress with debates and fights. One coach refused to help because she wanted the convention held in Mexico, land of the bandits. We're building a wall to keep them out and she's trying to get in. I swear to God. The somebodies were easier to get together than the nobodies. Think about this. Life coaches are nobodies. Informing somebody of something. Nothing more, nothing less. Therapist. A person trained in methods of treating illness, especially without the use of drugs or surgery. Doctors. A person trained in the methods of treating illness with the use of drugs and surgery. Those are somebodies. Licensed by the state of residence. Certified versus licensed. Certified. A non-governmental organization grants recognition to an individual who has met predetermined qualifications specified by that organization. Licensed. State grants legal authority to a specific practice. Look at being certified as a driver's license. Any idiot can get a driver's license in any state. You got one. How hard was it for you to get? Marinate on that while being upset with me. Me, I'm neither certified or licensed. I'm just someone you feel comfortable with because you relate to my storytelling and you know I know what I'm talking about based on experience. Nothing more, nothing less. You don't need a degree to understand narcissism. You had the best teacher there is. A narcissist. 
therapists, doctors, probably went to Ivy League College. Like Harvard. You went to the best school there is. The school of hard knocks. Life experience is the best teacher. Well, this therapist I'm discussing has held their seminars in Europe, and I hoped he would have joined forces to accomplish what he failed. He didn't say yes, he didn't say no. Anyone that knows doctors and lawyers' personalities knows if you are not a doctor and you are not a lawyer, you are beneath them and they will treat you as such. So to this therapist, I'm beneath him, attempting Mission Impossible. Several months later, I accomplished the unexpected. I came back and I asked for help. With him being friendly, I messaged him the proposal I worked on. 400 hours. Yes, 400. This proposal was to solicit corporate sponsorship for 100000 I showed him the panel's attendees. I showed him how much money was going to be made. I showed him the chart of how that money was going to be spent. He's more concerned with the money. Why are you spending 18 grand on catering? Let the people buy their own food. Now I know why black people don't follow him. If you want black people to follow, have food. Well, this is not a black event. This is an all day event and I'm going to feed people. I said I'm not doing this for the money. I'm doing this to help people. And my accountant advised me to get rid of the money to concentrate on breaking even so I don't have to worry about taxes. However, I'm allowed to pay myself for services rendered. And my intentions was to pay myself and the panelists. A thousand dollars honorarium each. Believe me, that's nothing in this business. The therapist gets mad and says, I'm declining because you're making 70 grand. Now listen to this excuse. Nobody knows you, and who's to say you won't skip off with the money? I can no longer cuss in my videos, so would you please think the word, the two words I'm thinking right now. Just think. Don't tell them. Don't become a flying monkey. I thought Lilith was sick, but these so-called therapists are worse. You go to them for help and they're putting you down or trying to lock you up. This is why Dr. Susan Campbell, president of a psychology association, will be discussing how to choose a good therapist at the convention. She has spoken with some of the panelists and feels comfortable with them as I do. Please go to NarcissisticAwareness.com to see the panelists. One therapist goes on Facebook page, someone's Facebook page, who shared the convention's link, calls me out, and tries to psychoanalyze me online to discredit me. Then gather his blind, obedient buddies to form a boycott. Simply because someone beneath him formed an idea. Some of these therapists need their license revoked because they obviously forgotten what's important. They made me more important than you. Which lets you know it was never about helping you. Perhaps one time it was about you, but fame and fortune corrupted them. Money is power and power corrupts. Please watch Red Flag number 148, Celebrities as Narcissists. Pat Benatar knew what she was talking about in her song, Love is a Battlefield. The war started with your narc, but as you can see, the war doesn't end with them. It continue, continues with the therapist. Love is a Battlefield and I'm the general. As long as you follow my orders, you will survive this war with less Battle scars. You will sidestep most of the pain that comes your way by being aware of what's going on. I'm not a social worker, but the work I am doing is social work. I believe my lot in life is helping people because I don't want people making the same mistakes I made in life and end up being abused. 
the person with the best advice usually are the ones that has been through the most.